Hey Cupcakes, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I wanted to do something a little different. Um, something, I guess you could say was requested, I don't even know. Um, my friend was like, hey Janelle, I like your videos, but you just don't seem like you. And I was like, the camera kind of makes me shy. So I'm like, hi, my name is Janelle, and today we're going to be doing makeup. Na 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 na. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna try my best to like just film like I'm talking with my family, talking with my friends, like I'm talking on Snapchat because I'd be reckless. So I'm just going to film a get ready with me, but you're also gonna get to know me. I guess let's get started. Alright, so these questions that I found, I pulled them off of like Google and like my boyfriend tried to help me. Like, what would people that watch me want to know so I'm just gonna be rambling and whenever I get stuck I'm gonna look down at my phone and just pick out the questions that you know I feel are good to answer so um if you don't know already my name is Janelle um you could call me Janie you could call me I, I don't know I have a lot of nicknames my mom is the one who came up with Janie so that's where cakey Janie comes from cakey because they used to say oh Janelle you cake your face with too much makeup oh my god nah, nah, nah. And like, I would hate that so much. I'm like, you know what, we're just gonna um, make my channel called Cakey Janie, you know what I mean? So there's that. And you know, I'd be caking. A little pound cake in the back. <laughs> I'm just gonna conceal my eyebrows because my eyebrows look horrible right now. Like, if I zoom you guys in, you're gonna be mortified. Either way, I have to, you know what, I'm gonna just zoom you in because how are you gonna see what I'm doing with my eye makeup? All right, we all types of up close and personal. I was born in Miami. Raised here in Kissimmee, I guess you could say. I moved here when I was five, so I've spent a good deal of time here in Kissimmee. Hobbies that I have other than makeup. I used to dance for a long time, actually. Um, I started dancing when I was two, when I was back in Miami is when I started dancing. And then I continued up here in Kissimmee until I graduated. I stopped dancing because it's so expensive. Um, I work retail. I've worked retail for like maybe six years now. That sounds about right. Six or seven years. Retail is um, a world of its own and if you work retail you know exactly what I'm talking about. There's just so much to deal with, so many expectations and like you're only one person so sometimes it could be a little hectic I'm also gonna use this concealer it's not really concealer it's the makeup forever HD foundation I'm gonna use this as my concealer but use this to also prime my eyes so back to retail retail is crazy um, I'm not staying there forever I, I don't know how some people can do this for the rest of their lives I can't I'm going to school for nursing and that's why I'm on and off YouTube Every so often, like, I'll pop by and do one video, and then I'm like, okay, I'll see you guys in four months. I want to do pediatric nursing. Well, no, let me rewind. I wanted to go to school to be a pediatric nurse. And then uh, while being in school, they let you practice in different settings. So this semester, I did do a pediatric portion, and I didn't really enjoy it too much. I, I liked it. I love working with kids. I've always worked with kids and the pediatric setting in a hospital is really different and I thought I would like it but it's not my calling. So what I want to do is I want to be a... Uh, real quick. I'm going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm going to take this shade right here and I'm going to put this in my crease just to give me like some definition again. So what I want to do is I want to be a school nurse, like an elementary school nurse, or I would like to be a labor and delivery nurse. Those two things were pretty cool or something that I know I would enjoy doing as my job. Back to dancing. I went to an art school, like for high school, and I enjoyed it. Dancing really was my passion. My favorite types of dance were, believe it or not, ballet and lyrical or contemporary. And people were always like, oh, you don't look like a ballet dancer. But I really did like just the, the delicacy and how pretty ballet was. That was just my favorite so if I were to go back to dance that's what I would do when did I first start 
like getting into makeup i always used to like makeup and fashion when i was i guess in high school is when it kind of hit me i guess being in an art school that kind of like brings your independence like your fashion is what defines you your makeup is what defines you like so i always had a lot of fun with my self-expression and i wasn't heavily into makeup in high school but i did kind of like experiment with makeup in high school like i would do like these crazy like silver silver smoky eyes as i graduated from high school and then went into college is when i started working more into makeup more into makeup more into makeup and then watching youtube honestly where was i like i didn't even know youtube was a thing so i was like oh like you should watch this tutorial da, da, da. i think they were trying to hand like girl your makeup needs help so <laughs> yeah i went out to youtube and i was like oh my god there's like a whole nother world out here like people are really out here like doing makeup and doing things and i was like wow i want to do makeup so then I started practicing a little bit more, a little bit more, and, you know, with the help of my family and the support of my family, like, being like, oh, yeah, like, you should do this, or you shouldn't do this, or your makeup looks good, or it sucks, like, that's what, you know, kind of helped me, motivate me, pushed me into wanting to do better makeup. Next, also in the Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette, I don't know what the shades of these eyeshadows are because mine came without the slip so i'm just gonna be pointing we're gonna take this shade and i'm also gonna put this in the crease it literally looks like i have nothing on my eyeballs right now but um yeah we're just gonna do that i do have a boyfriend that's my man that's my baby that's literally me he looks like my twin if you don't know or you're new to my channel i do have like i think two videos with him i did the bean boozled just spit everywhere i did the bean boozled challenge with him and then i did the boyfriend does my makeup challenge if you want to see those you know support your girl yeah but we've been dating for three years and two months will be three years and three months in january and yeah that's basically all you need to know about him all right, I'm gonna have to refer to this whole Google question thing because I'm starting to get stuck. So let's see. It says, if money were no object, what would you get for your next birthday? Listen, if you know me, my car is ridiculous. It's horrible, honest. I don't even know I, if I could call it a car, it's horrible. I would get a new car yesterday if I could, okay? If there was like, and it wouldn't even be like, you know people like they wish for like, Ooh, I want a Mercedes. Ooh, I want a, an Audi. Ooh, I want a BMW. No, no ho. What I want is just a car that's going to drive me without making me feel like I'm going to die in the next 2.8 seconds. If I saw a freaking Toyota Corolla pull up into my driveway, and it could be like a 2005, and they were like, Janelle, he's your brand new car. I'd be like, yes, Lord, thank you. God bless, because... My car is ridiculous. Um, I want to use the Fenty Beauty Palette. This palette is really beautiful and I just it just sits here. I don't know what to do with it. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Wow. That's a good question. I'm going to go with France. I don't know. I want to go somewhere out of the country. I would like to. Like, I don't know. The UK, France, something, anything. But if I had to pick somewhere in the U.S. that I wanted to live, California seems too busy and I'm not like a really social person. You're probably like, then why, why the hell are you on social media? I don't know. I just, I'm just doing it for the gram, okay? I'm just, I'm here. I'm living life. You know what? I'm gonna go with Hawaii. Hawaii sounds good. Even though like I know their tax rates are crazy expensive. But I'm gonna go with Hawaii because I would love to live, you know, in that tropical setting without being in a tropical place. I'm going to go into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette. This is kind of old. I hate using products that like are unavailable. But I'm going to go with this purple in the crease. Yeah, so this color is called Punch Fuchsia in case it comes in like a single pan and you want to buy it. What city were you born in? We discussed that. I was born in Miami. Um, would I move back to Miami? Probably not. I know it's super busy over there and the traffic is ridiculous. 
I don't know how, like, I have some family that lives over there. I don't know how they're doing it. Miami compared to Orlando or Kissimmee area is so different. Miami is very fast paced. I guess you could compare it to New York. I don't know. I wouldn't know because I never lived in New York. But my family is also from up north. Like, I have some family that lives up north. Some in Miami. They're, they're everywhere. And I, I don't like the fast pace. I like to live a very tranquil life. It gives me a lot of anxiety. Speaking of anxiety, I have, I do have anxiety, horribly. Whenever I'm in crowded places or there's like a lot of people, like I sweat so hard, I get so nervous, I hate talking, like it's the worst. And you're probably like, you know, you don't seem like the type, like whenever I socialize. But that's because I'm usually with someone that I'm very close to, like I don't go out by myself or with random people, I can't do that. Whenever I'm with someone that makes me feel, you know, like comfortable, I ease up because I know they're there. So yeah, so when I moved back to Miami, hail to the no. I can't believe I'm still on eyes. I've been here for like 20 minutes. This is why like voiceovers are not my best friend. Speaking of Florida, it is so hot. Christmas is, in, Christmas is like in five days and it's like 80 degrees. I have the fan on. I, I refuse to turn the fan off to film right now because it's burning. Like I'm literally sweating so hard. Yeah, I'm definitely sweating. <laughs> My goodness. What did you want to be when you were younger? I wanted to be a dancer. I thought I was going to be a dancer until I realized that you have to have this like certain physique that ballet companies look for. And then I was like, well, there goes that. I'll just be a nurse. Now I'm a nurse. Well, I'm going to be a nurse. What movie have you watched repeatedly? Okay, so I honestly, I don't watch TV and I don't watch movies and stuff unless like... My boyfriend's like, oh, let's go out on a date. Let's watch a movie. And I'm like, okay, whatever. If I do watch a movie repeatedly, that's how you know it's real. And my favorite movie is The Cat in the Hat with, um, what's his name? Michael Myers or whatever. That movie, it's right here in my heart. Like, I could watch that movie back to back to back. Like, literally put it on repeat, like a song. I could watch it back to back. That's how much I love that movie. Ooh, who is my favorite YouTuber? Listen, I have a top three favorite YouTuber list, and I don't think it'll ever change. These are the people that influenced me to get into makeup, and I love them very dearly. They hold a special piece in my heart, and honestly, like, if I were to ever meet them or, like, be remotely close to them, I'd probably diarrhea myself. Like, I love them so, so much. Number one, I'm gonna go with Jaclyn Hill. Girl. I love you. Jaclyn Hill was like the first YouTuber that I actually saw on YouTube. So next I'm going to take um, this color right here called Jilted and I'm also going to place this in the crease. We're going to go from like purpley pink to like a dark purple and then so I could use one of the shimmer purples. So Jaclyn Hill, she's, she's my girl man. And she lives here in Tampa somewhere. It, yeah, if I were to run into her, I'd just about die. And then number two, oh wait, no, I didn't even finish my story. Okay, backtracking. She was like the first person I saw on YouTube and like I think it was her cat eye tutorial um, that she did. I saw that and I was like, wow, this girl is talented. I need to be like her. I want to be like her. And then I like binge watched probably like 10 of her videos and I was like, yep, mm -hmm, this is this is my calling I need it so shout out to you Jacqueline for getting me on this um, makeup train and then number two is definitely luster Lux. her name is Katie she's Desi Perkins friend which makes you know number three Desi Perkins so them three are my absolute favorite 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 youtubers um, in the makeup industry. Favorite YouTuber out of the makeup industry is Shane Dawson. Oh my god. Like, he makes me pee my pants. Literally, he is so funny and I love his videos. I'm gonna need him to get back to, like, making the Galaxy whatever, Galaxy nachos and doing all his crazy food stuff. Why did I want to start YouTube? I don't really know. <laughs> um, filming YouTube is, like, my way to, like, have friends without really having friends that sounds so bad but i like communicating and seeing everyone's feedback through like social media and uh, you know hearing people's inputs and watching other youtubers 
supporting other YouTubers. I, I'm not really a person that likes to go out. I'd much rather stay in my house and just stay in bed or like invite like maybe one or two friends friends because all i have is two friends um i'd much rather invite them to my house and we just stay in bed and eat snacks and do nothing all day than like go out and party or go to the club and go here and go there i'm not in that scene youtube is like my way of going out and having friends without really having friends that's what i meant next i'm gonna jump in with this color right here this one urban i'm gonna use this color and i'm also gonna place this on my crease but it's gonna be like on the out i'm gonna use this on the outer portion of my crease okay so what's my favorite color my favorite color is pink i love pink baby pink bright pink baby pink is actually probably like my more of my favorite pink but i love any shade of pink my favorite food ooh. I'm gonna do like my top three favorite food because I can't pick just one. Pasta, for sure. My favorite type of pasta is gonna have to be chicken parmesan. And then potatoes. And when I mean potatoes are my favorite food, I mean like any way that you can make a potato. So french fries, mashed potato, curly fries, waffle fries. I'm here for it, okay? Pizza is definitely a fave. It's up there, it has my heart. Um, I love pizza so, so much. My favorite type of pizza is pepperoni pizza from Domino's. They're so good. Like, that's my favorite generic pizza. Homemade pizza, like, someone makes it from scratch. There's a place called Friendly's here in Kissimmee. And they make the absolute best 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 pizza in the world actually every time i go there i get a calzone because it's just that good and it's basically like a pizza folded in half and then my last favorite food this one should have been my number one honestly but guacamole oh man all right so i'm gonna continue with the color urban this look is coming out more purpley than i intended so i'm just gonna try to deepen it up a little bit more by going into urban and then i'm also gonna go into um there's like this shimmery purple in the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm going to use that to deepen the outer corner-ish. What is my favorite restaurant? I don't know. I go out to eat a lot. Like, I put on this double chin right here. I've put on a good amount of weight recently. That's just for me eating out and I need to stop. I need to go back to the gym. I was doing so good when I was going back to the gym. I don't even know why I stopped, but I need to go back. I don't know if I said this already. I can't remember. My memory sucks. But my birthday is February 19th, so that makes me a Pisces, which makes me feisty. <laughs> yes, I am a feisty Pisces. How tall am I? I am short. <laughs> I am five foot three. I wish I was like just a little bit taller. Like if I was five foot five, that would be great. But I'm not. Have I ever played any sports? No, I have not. And I wish I did when I was in high school, but my high school didn't offer sports. So there went that. But if I would have played any sports, would I want? What I would have wanted to play was volleyball. I always thought that was like such a cute, that's not so stupid. Like, oh, it's a cute sport. But like, I feel like it would be something that I was good at. That, and I also wanted to be a cheerleader. I still like, I wouldn't have mind to be a cheerleader. If dance was never a thing, cheerleading would have been there for me. Am I a morning or a night person? Definitely night person. I hate waking up early. If you call me before noon, I won't pick up because I'm probably sleeping still. I hate, 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 hate with the capital H. I hate waking up early. I hate being up in the morning. It's just not my thing. I'm going to go back in with Jilted and then just brush this along the crease. Am I an introvert or an extrovert? Um, Definitely introvert. I only talk to people that I'm comfortable with. That's about it. Cookies, cake, or donuts? Definitely donuts. I love donuts. My favorite donuts are the Dunkin' Donuts Strawberry Frosted Donut. I've probably been eating that since I was like two years old. No lie. Did I like school? High school? No. I hated high school actually. Um, I don't even know if I, would, if I like attended high school. <laughs> Um, I hated high school, but college I do enjoy. 
um, even though like I'm super stressed at the moment with nursing school I do enjoy college do I have pets yes I have pets I have two miniature pinchers in my house not this house but in my parents house I have two mini miniature pinchers and then my boyfriend's dogs I consider them my dogs as well but um, he has two chihuahuas do I have any piercings or tattoos all of these all of these I have probably 14 15 16 piercings I'm a more of a piercing person I don't have any tattoos yet I would like to get tattoos one day I don't know when that will be whenever I have money to spare on tattoos that's when I'll get tattoos but as of right now no tattoos just piercings and I plan to get more piercings as well okay this is probably as blended out and smoked out that i would want everything else so i have like this pinkish purpley vibe right now it just looks really pink because the sun is setting and i'm turning orange but there is in fact so oh look see some purple right there eh. yeah i'll come back and deepen it in a second um i'm just gonna try to throw on this glitter purple and see how it works out first this one's sublime and it's like a purpley bluey iridescent that one so we're gonna go with sublime and i'm just gonna take my finger and apply that and see how it looks it's a really pretty color right Ooh. okay rihanna go ahead girl back down riri one time we're gonna just put that in the center mm. Okay, so these shadows, they're not too, too opaque, it seems like. So I could have put a color on the bottom to make it pop. Because right now, it just kind of looks like nothing, really. Like, you can still see my skin under it. I thought I was going to have, like, a purple undertone. I'm going to take this Smashbox Cover Shop Bold Eye Palette. This one, isn't this so cool? I'm going to take this, like, bright pink purple right here. And I'm going to apply that on the lid. Do I have any kids? No. Would I like kids? Yes. I love kids. So adorable. I love kids. I love how to them anything is possible. So yes, I, I want kids. How many? I probably max two. I wouldn't want anything more than two kids. If I just have one, that's fine. I'm going to go back in with the color Sublime from the Galaxy palette. And just pop that here in the center what is happening come on rihanna i spent money on you i spent my last coins on you girl i'm gonna take um just like a little defining brush thing and spray it with setting spray and i'm gonna dip it in that color and see what happens i guess you just have to like really pack it on because it's looking weird i mean there's re nothing really else to know about I me mean, it's kind of hard to do this like off the top of your head so let me just talk about how my week's been or let me talk about how my day's been so we're about five days away till christmas i'm still waiting on two packages to arrive i'm struggling because i thought they were gonna be in a lot earlier and they're not here yet so i'm slightly panicking hopefully it gets here on time and like i'm hispanic so for us Christmas is on the 24th basically. It's Noche Buena. We go ahead and we party. I mean, I don't party, but typically we spend the, that day together as a family and whatnot. They have me working on the 24th and normally I don't work on Sundays and they put me to work on Sunday and I was like, oh, okay, this is new. What are we doing? So my family is not too happy about that. And lately in the makeup scene, nothing really has been exciting me. I think the only thing that I, I've been wanting to buy is I have like a couple of skincare items that I've been like keeping my eye on. I really want to focus on skincare um, for the new year because my skin like it's cleared up a lot. But like look at all these acne scars. I always get like really big cystic acnes around like my chin or whatever whenever it's time that time of the month. And it sucks. I just want clear, 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 clear skin. Okay, I think this is all I'm going to do for like the eyes right now. I'm not going to do any liner. Kind of like the way it looks. I'll probably throw some lashes on. But yeah, this is going to sound kind of stereotypical or like 
yeah, stereotypical, but like whenever the new year starts, like I want to go back to the gym and I want to eat better and I want to focus on my skin, like long hair, clear skin, slim waist, thick booty, like oh, the mailman came. Hold up, we got packages. Maybe that's my package. Hey, 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 hey. Watch. I'm gonna let them ring the doorbell. There we are. Let me go ahead and try to get these lashes on. All right, so speaking of lashes, I, okay, you probably, if you, you're active on Instagram, you should see this brand like on Instagram. They're called Icon, these people, whatever. And they were looking for like promoters. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just do it. I'm gonna do it. And then I sat there and I asked, I was like, hey, like, can I go ahead and promote for you guys? Like, I know I don't have a big following, but like, can I promote for you guys? And they're like, sure, okay, here you go. And I'm thinking, okay, cool. Let me try this out. So I went, I bought the lashes, whatever. And the lashes are phenomenal. I love the lashes. They're bomb, like they haven't shed on me and I've had them for a while. These lashes I actually wore on my anniversary and like they looked bomb AF. And so whatever, I get the lashes and then the shipping. I think I might have a heart attack just talking about it. Like, oh my god. So the shipping is so expensive. It's like $15 for shipping. And I, I was just looking at this like, excuse me, like why? The, okay, the lashes are bomb, the, the band is so easy to apply, they're great, but that shipping, man. If you want me to promote this and actually get you customers and actually me still be a customer, you're going to have to lower that shipping to at least, at the very least, $5. Like, these lashes, they're like, um, the type of lashes like Huda Beauty, like House of Lashes, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Like, you know, like those brand of lashes. And the quality is great, but I just can't pay $15 for shipping when I gotta pay $30 for a lash. That means I'm spending about, what, $45 on one item? But overall, these lashes are good, so I'm gonna wear them. These are the lashes. Well, the style is called Beverly Hills. And they're like a very wispy, very blown out, separated type of lash. They go from little in the middle, little in the middle, little like on the inner corner to big or like very long on the outside. And I feel like those kind of lashes fit my eye shape very well because I have like almond shaped eye. I have almond shaped eyes. So um, they make my eyes look very big and doe-eyed and just really cute. Let me show you how it looks like in the package. And I mean, the packaging is great too. Like you get it in this cardboard box. It says, life is short. I can't see because the viewfinder sucks. Okay, life is short. Your lashes shouldn't be. And then those are the lashes. Like they're really nice. But like I said, I ain't spending $45 on a pair of lashes. All right, so I literally don't know where I left off at because my camera if you've noticed for like the past like three videos that i've done my camera always shuts off on me and i think it's time that i get a new camera or i get a new battery pack something something's got to give because this is ridiculous i can't i don't understand why it keeps shutting off so i already applied my lashes and the eyes are basically good to go so we're gonna go ahead and do the rest of the face as much as we can before it shuts off on me again Talking wise, I also don't know where I left off. It's already like two hours later and I already started editing parts of the video because what else was I gonna do while I was waiting? I don't even know. So I'm gonna go in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and this is like one of my favorite pri- This is one of my favorite primers. This is like the only primer that doesn't feel heavy on my face. A lot of those primers that are like really silicone-y they don't hold product well on my face because I have really oily skin and so it's just not a good time for my face. I think I was talking something about Christmas but this year it doesn't even feel like Christmas. It just feels like nothing. I'm not in the holiday spirit. It just feels weird and funky and I don't like it. I want it to feel like Christmas. 
I wanted the Patrick Star collection and I don't even know why I didn't get it. I wanted the powder and one of the eye palettes. I'm probably going to see if one of the Ulta's have it near me so that way I can get it. I'm pretty sure it's sold out online and in store. What are some like good skincare brands or products that I like not too many people talk about? Help me find products that are good but are not overrated you know what i mean because i feel like a lot of these overrated products like glam glow like they're overrated those like really bougie skincare brands like i think they're overrated you're gonna pay like a bajillion dollars for something that i know there's other products that do exactly the same thing and don't get me wrong like i know with skincare like i normally splurge on skincare because i want those good ingredients on my face i don't want nothing cheap and disgusting i don't mind paying the price i just don't want something that's overrated that's not gonna work for me that's one thing like a lot of like youtubers and influencers and all these people they go ahead and say that a product is good and then they're just doing it because they sponsor them you know what i mean like i don't want that i want something that's genuinely good something that like i could swear by and be like yeah it's great for Z Face, I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Foundation, and this is in the shade uh, 350N. The shade it goes very well. Like this is probably like one of the only foundations that match me really good, and I love that. That makes me so happy. Shout out to Rihanna, thank you, girl. A makeup product that I cannot live without, like that I need in my life, is highlight and hmm. I was gonna say lipstick, but like winged eyeliner. If I'm just wearing winged eyeliner and lipstick, I feel like the rest doesn't matter because my eyebrows, I don't necessarily fill them in, which I actually wanna start doing. I wanna start filling in my eyebrows, not because like I need a shape. I mean, I need to get them done, but I don't necessarily need the shape. I just want um, them to look really like full. Even though I have a lot of hair, I just want them to look fuller and darker. My favorite snack is has to be Lay's potato chips and it's just the plain Lay's. Honestly, like people out here are looking for sponsorships from like companies and like um uh, like from makeup companies and from like all these big brands, bro. If I just said bro. Okay, I just want Lay's to be like, yo, we need her. We need her on our team. We're gonna send you free lays for the rest of your life and i would be more than happy with that like if that's the only thing that i got out of just jumping on youtube and talking about my random self i just want lays to be like mm -hmm, mm, mm -hmm. we see you girl we feel you what's your favorite season well in florida i don't have many options um it's either summer summer part one summer part two and cold summer so I'm going to go with cold summer. That's what I like, which <laughs> is basically like our one week of winter. If I lived in like a different state where you actually have seasons, I feel like fall would be my favorite season because it's not too cold and then it's not Florida hot. And then you get to see like just the change of the season, like the leaves change and all that stuff. I think that would be so cool. But we don't have that here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna set this with my Cody Airspun powder. Same old, same old. What's your favorite thing to have for breakfast? I love, we have this place here in Florida. I don't know if it's only a Florida thing, but there's a restaurant called Kiki's. Let me tell you, Kiki's is bomb AF. I love Kiki's. Um, Normally what I get from there is their French toast, and then they have like, these little potato with bacon and cheese thing. It is so, so, so good. My favorite place to like, my favorite fast food place is Taco Bell. I know that sounds so bad, but Taco Bell just has like a place in my heart. No matter what the rumors were about it, about, oh, they like the horse meat in their, their food. I don't care. Give me all the horse meat. Like I love Taco Bell. It's so good. That's why me and Shane get along. We're here. We're here. What's your longest relationship so far? Three years and two months. <laughs> Before my boyfriend, I guess you could say like I never really was in a relationship. Like there were people that talked to me 
I'm not gonna say I talked to them because they're relevant now. I wasn't their girlfriend or anything though. That's it. <laughs> Who is your celebrity crush? The weekend. The weekend is daddy. Like that's that's babe, okay? If I were to see him on the street is on. Oh man. I love that man. He's beautiful. God bless his soul. God bless his parents for making him. Honestly, I've tried a good amount of Kat Von D products and every time I use- Oh, Jesus. It's just like everywhere. Every time I've used like one of her products, I don't necessarily like it. Okay, so this is definitely giving you that contour. That cool tone ashy color that you were supposed to get when you contour. Which I, I like, but it's making me look like really ashy. I'm gonna try the dark side, like the dark color on this side and see what happens. So I'm done with this palette. We're, we're not doing this. We're not doing this. It went from bad to worse in like three seconds. Maybe I'm using a really heavy hand but i'm pretty sure it's that's not supposed to do that see like okay like that didn't look too too bad i could have oh man mm. Mm -mm. i'm gonna pretend like this never happened so i'm gonna try and i'm gonna take this little palette that boxycharm sent me and it's called the bronze essentials by butte basics and i'm gonna take oh Maybe this one. I'm going to take that middle shade. I'm going to try to just single it out and carve out my cheeks, kind of. And I'm just going to try to blend this up a little bit so that way it doesn't look... Oh, that's pretty. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So we're going to do this one. Okay, so my problem is, is like, you see all of my fur right here? Um... I was thinking about going to get dermaplaned where it takes out like all of the the dead skin cells and like all your peach fuzz and all that stuff which I wanted to do but I am so hairy that I figured if I were to get dermaplaned that my hair would grow back like 10 times worse so if you've gotten dermaplaned before can you please comment down below and be like girl don't do it or girl please do it like please help a sister out i need to know it says what is your favorite drink i don't know if it means drink like drinky drink or like drink like water if we're talking about a regular drink i like teas i like sweet tea green tea i like um Actually, my favorite teas are from like the Yogi brand. They have this one that is green tea kombucha and then they have a healthy skin tea. Those two teas are my favorite teas, like hot teas. Cold drink, I don't know, I, I just normally get like a raspberry tea or a sweet tea whenever I go out. And then like drink drink that I like. Um, peach Bellinis or a Corona with lime extra. So I'm... Um, kind of done with that i'll come back to highlight in a second i'm gonna go ahead and do the unders of my eyes or like um my lower lash line and i think i'm not gonna go purple i'm gonna go blue under here we have this really pretty blue in the smashbox cover shot palette um again i'm gonna take that and i'm gonna put that on the lower lash line to me pulling off blue eyeshadows can be so hard because you could go from looking real nice to looking real stripper real quick so blues you always want to be really careful and make sure you blend the crap out of them so that way you're not out here looking ridiculous do you speak any different languages i speak spanish because my family is spanish i don't know if i mentioned it but my family is dominican so yeah they speak spanish if anything you could probably hear my grandma in the background speaking spanish i'm gonna go back in with the jaclyn hill palette and there's like a blue in here yeah like this this blurple right here we're gonna take this color and i'm also gonna put it on my outer corner just so that way like the blue and the purple kind of fuse together do i have any siblings okay this 
question could be very complicated but with my mom and my father i am an only child my dad on the other hand has other kids and so i have half siblings i have five other half siblings so in total there's six of us four other girls so four sisters and then one brother i'm gonna go back in with the galaxy palette there's like a really iridescent blue in there i'm gonna take the iridescent blue and put that in, in my inner corners yeah i want to use this one in the inner corners that's really pretty do i still have my wisdom teeth yes and they hurt so bad i wish i would have gotten them removed when i had the chance but i haven't i need to that's like one thing i'm looking forward to just want to get those suckers out oh my god do you believe in ghosts i i guess yeah i believe in spirits and that there's spirits that roam the earth and sometimes you could feel them i don't know if that qualifies as ghosts are ghosts and spirits the same thing i don't know if they are but if they are then yes if not then no okay now i'm gonna go in with lashes and also in this month's boxy mm, boxy charm i got the tardiest tar um mascara and uh, we're gonna go ahead and use this i'm just gonna apply a light coat on the top lashes so that way my lashes kind of look um blended in Okay, and then I'm going to take the same mascara and I'm going to apply that to the lower lashes. Alright, another question was, what is one thing that you think that people misunderstand about you? And I think people, when they look at me, they're probably like, oh my god, she's such a bitch. Because I literally walk around like... Like literally, that's just my face. 25-8. And I think people just think like, oh my god, like, she's such a bitch and blah, blah, blah. And I'm I'm really not. Like, I can catch an attitude real quick, but I'm really not that mean. And I know there's people that they take pride of that. They're like, oh yeah, like, I'm a bitch. I'm blah, blah, blah. I'm this, I'm that. And I'm really not. Like, I don't want people to sit there and think like, oh, that I'm mean or whatever. Once I start to warm up and you get to know me, I'm a fairly chill person as long as you don't piss me off and get on my nerves like i'm good the blush i am going to go in is from laura geller this is the baked brulee <laughs> too many bees baked brulee blush in berry cream that's what it looks like and i'm gonna take the same brush and just apply this on my cheeks and then I'm going to go back in with the Bronze Essential um, palette and take one of the golds on here. And I'm going to apply that on to the highest points of my cheeks. I like it, but it's really subtle. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a different um, highlight. We're going to take Prosecco Pop from Becca Cosmetics, which is just a really like pale gold highlight. I'm gonna take that and apply it. See, that's much better. That's the type of highlight I like. I like it to be all up in your face. Um, if I could have any superpower, what would it be? My superpower would be to fly. So that way I don't have to drive because I hate driving. Driving is literally like the last thing that I like to do. I would much rather hire a chauffeur and have them drive me around than me drive at all real quick i also have this setting spray it's an illuminating setting spray from cover fx i've heard bad things about it that like it has like a lot of glitter to it but this is a kind of glittery like eye look so i'm just gonna go ahead and try to focus it right here and it is such a fine mist Honestly, I might just put this everywhere. And normally, I don't like to have, like, a lot of dew on my skin. Like, that really dewy look because my face is just so oily. But this spray doesn't feel heavy and it doesn't feel like it would give you that dew. It just gives you that shine. For lips, I'm going to take the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm, I believe it's called. It looks like so. I'm going to apply some highlight on, like, the center of my lip, though. Just to make it my lips look a little bit more full. 
look right up here all right well this is the final look i tried to make this as entertaining or as informative as possible for like the get to know me portion of it if you have any questions or anything that you want me to answer for you guys go ahead and comment that down below so i can do that for you on my next video or if you have any suggestions on what i should do for my next video also please comment that down below so i can get that for you guys i am going to try to upload another two or three videos before i go back to school so please be patient with me and i'm going to try my best to do that for you all but until then i will see you on my social media where i'm a little bit more active i will also link that down below or i will comment it down below um so go ahead and feel free to follow me let me know that you are coming from my youtube channel so i can follow you back and that is it thank you once again so much for watching and i will see you on my next video bye guys